30 years ago, the first time I came to Washington, my family and I couldn't eat ice cream in a drugstore here because we were black. Now, since then, I have come to Washington many times to demonstrate and to testify to different aspects of myself and my beliefs. And I see many familiar faces from those past marches here today. For lesbians and gay men have always been in the vanguard of struggles for liberation and justice in this country and within our communities. The first national conference of third world lesbians and gay men met in Washington over the past four days and it was an outstanding success. We had third world lesbians and gay men as delegates from over 40 states. Third world lesbians and gay men from Mexico, from Canada, and from England. Now, we have all come together to demonstrate our power as lesbians and gay men in behalf of our own rights. And this is the beginning of a new front, for we are saying to the world that the struggle of lesbians and gay men is a real and particular and inseparable part of the struggle of all oppressed people within this country. I am proud to raise my voice here this day as a black, lesbian, feminist committed to struggle for a world where all our children can grow free from the diseases of racism, of sexism, of classism, and of homophobia. For those oppressions are inseparable. The question always is, what kind of a world do we want to be a part of? And affirmation and work does not stop with this march on Washington. Each of us has a responsibility to take this struggle back to her and his community, translated into daily action. The National Conference of Third World Lesbians and Gay Men and this march today were once only visions of what could be. Now all of us have made it our reality. Let us carry this solidarity that we are professing here today back with us into our everyday lives tomorrow and the day after and next week and next year and let it be reflected in a renewed commitment to struggle for a future where we can all flourish for not one of us will ever be free until we are all free.